Hello, I'm Shidosh Luis Nogueira Serrano. Hello, everybody. We are here in Valencia at Homo Dojo on September 2014, and we are discussing here very particular and very inner studies of our tradition concerning Aiki Jiu Jitsu. Uh, this video is uh, have the purpose to show all of you these uh, singular uh, studies that concerns only our tradition uh, because it's they are a very particular side to restrain or to control the enemy inside IQ to practice. The basis is very easy because we will use basic techniques as we have Udeo Sai, Kote Mawasi and Kote Hineri. But the idea is to restrain the enemy with uh, with the both hands, the both arms, at the same time with a single pressure. This is very difficult, this is the hard side of this study. This is why it's an advanced study only for Sidosi or advanced uh, practitioners. Then uh, I think that the best way to uh, understand this method is to, to sew it and practice it very slow, explaining full details on the technique in order to comprehend all the all the motion and all the dynamics of this of this basic, uh, of this method and these techniques, uh, for for that purpose I have here uh, Sensei Rebecca Roca that she will be helping me because of her elasticity. It would be easier to to support or to uh, or to keep the restraining and the uh, on the joint locks uh, for a long time for a slow motion uh, and for didactical purpose. Then, uh, first thing I will perform, she will grab me on my monoteto guitori with, with uh, her both hands to my both hands here. From here, first motion, go as I, I stop with high key here, move aside in order to Restrain this hand on this uh, on this uh, kotemawasi. We have a circular uh, swinging movement on the wrist. From here, the other hand grips on the kote, grips on this wrist here, and we have we traction and we have this motion here. Push in order to keep both hands in this kolosa this cross a line situation in order to pass the hand to this side and keep a kote mawasi, oh, sorry, a kote hineri. We have this torsion, this control here, take a look, and on the other hand must keep on this kote mawasi. With this control we have also my wrist controlling not to slide because the wrist, if I do that, of course, if she tries to, to get away, it's difficult, but she will, uh, she will do it at, at the end. If I have this, this is a half and it will be impossible. From here, let's go on the knees and right now move forward the more far possible in order to have this control. This we keep and we continue with the Kote Mawasi, I am uh, keeping out my hands in order to be more clear for the camera and be capable to, to understand what is happening inside the technique. But of course, all these techniques need to be clean and need to be always controlled. It's uh, for, for the purpose of learning or for the practitioners, uh, the masters used to control if, if uh, the opponent, if the UK, it's capable to escape, to run away from the technique. Then I am only trying to sew, trying to teach what is happening here. This hand is moving forward, and right now what I will do is to step on the hand, step on the wrist, in order to be more half on the other on the other wrist, making the joint lock here. And of course, the weight it's moving backwards, it's moving on the lower sides of the body in order to keep the control here. This is very painful, this is a very hard technique, very hard restriction technique with a very painful joint lock. 
This is one of the main of the of the studies of the series concerning uh, this study that it's called Kumo. Uh, it's called Kumo Shugi. Kumo Shugi. Kumo means spider shu that comes from karu that means to hunt to catch any kind of animal and ki or gi it depends on the master uh, means mainly what it's an insect or a bug then it's like the idea of a spider catching or hunting with the net with the uh, with with the trap some kind of insect innocent insect this is because the ancient master they were old and it was like a kind of illusion when they with a with a powerful enemy with a smooth movement they control they grip in a very uh, fast and easy movement and keep restraint for all the audience for all the people around looking at what is happening it's surprising it's like magic it's a magical technique but it's in that way this is a very it's very, uh, it's very singular from our tradition. Let's go to our sequence. Let's please, for example, Yaku um, Hanmi take Uitori when hand. I will took, I will take my advantage here, trying to strike with a mako, and of course, she will try to block on this. But I will this situation. I will revert passing this to this hand and having this kotemawasi and at the same time ripping the other joining the hands uniting and we have this strong control this both cross join lock on both kotemawasi on both sides and cross from here let's go down knee down and from here i pass backward and restrain changing the hands shifting the hands we have control this side and the other side here. From here, go down and restrain with my hara, controlling neck and controlling, of course, both arms. And on the same position, we have control on, of, on both legs. This is a second sequence. Let's go to a third in order to understand what is happening on all these uh, kumoshugi. On this case, she will grab. On Ushiro Morote Katatori, she's running. I will move aside a little and I will pass, making a, a step backward in order to have this control. From here, I pass this hand in order to control, like a Yamatoshi, but here it's not at the end. The key here is to have. Control like an Akote Mawashi here. This is the key. This is very painful and it's a very restricted technique. This control here, because if I bend here, it's painful and we have above control uh, that it's impressive. From here, let's go to the ground slowly, you know, that don't hug my partner. From here, I move, but I wrist, I keep with my foot here. My foot, I could maybe step on or knee down at the same position. Remember, I am, uh, I am releasing in order to explain all details that could happen on this. But remember, it, in reality, this will be performed without any kind of releasement. And from here, I have all this straight line here, not trying to stretch from this but stepping on the, at this point, near the wrist. And from here, we go knee down or step on. We have all this hara lifted up because we have to restrain and control also the legs. This is very painful. Despite it seems that is, this, is, this is soft, this is very painful because you have the restriction on this hand, on the kotema washing, and this is, uh, moreover, the pressure of all your weight stepping over a forearm it's the both uh, torsions and the both uh, restriction techniques let's go to the ending technique the fourth one because with all this fourth it would be enough to to understand uh, this particular method 
Let's go to Ushiro Kamitori. From here, she is restraining, she's, she's keeping my hair. I grab here from this position, move aside, and I try to strike. She blocks, and at the same time, and at the same time, she's grabbing on my gi here. From this circumstance, I move aside, turning around and trying to have this Kote Hineri too. Move the hand in order to put on my shoulder or put on my biceps here. This is a very painful technique. With this painful technique, we need only, only to move. From this position, take a look, I am here, go my hand, pass, and from here, I turn to that side, because we need to control that position. From here, we control both hands, let her to fall completely to the ground, and right now, knee one side, the other keeps control, and from here, I have the control with both Kotehineri here. We could also move to that position, and it's a very interesting method to restrain with both Kotehineri here and at the same time control with the, the along or uh, hair arms. Then, this is the fourth technique, the last technique that we explain today on this Aikijutsu method that I remember to all of you that it's Kumosugi or Kumosugi depending on the master. It's a spider hunting or catching the insect. Very particular and, and a study that belongs to our tradition and you, all of you, could learn in any of our school or any of our capable representatives. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed and see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.